Caitlin, thank you. Let's talk politics. A week from tomorrow, we will know the fate of Mayor Freddie O'Connell's transit plan. Nashville voters are essentially being asked to give themselves a sales tax increase by half cent to help fund traffic and public transit improvements that would ease congestion. Now, opponents to the mayor's plan say it's not going to work, and they claim there are hidden costs. Fox 17 News' Karen Aguilar in studio now with more on both sides of this debate. Scott, for example, the mayor's office says this tax increase would cost you an extra 25 cents for every $50 you spend, which would average to about $70 a year per family. The concern for some is what will happen if the federal funds supporting this program fall through. A 24-7 WeGo bus service, synchronized signals for less time at the red light, new sidewalks, and more, all part of Nashville Mayor Freddie O'Connell's Choose How You Move plan. But the sales tax will be increased a half penny if people vote yes to it November 5th. Emily Evans is a former Metro Councilwoman and is on the committee to stop unfair tax. Evans believes a higher sales tax won't be the only thing impacting Nashvillians. What pressure does this put on our, uh, on our general fund, on our property taxes and other sales taxes? Evans points to these numbers that show while Nashville's current transit system costs around $136 million to operate, it brings in less than $11 million in revenue. Transit is funded by federal dollars. What if the presidential election leads to changes in that funding? Will the city ask for more property tax or even more sales tax? So it increases the cost of living in Nashville, which we've already know is pretty out of control right now. The mayor's spokesperson, Alex Apple, says that's not true. He said it actually saves money for car owners who have to maintain their car, pay for parking, among other things. It's a chance to use public transportation if they want it, if and when they need it, to bring down their household cost of transportation. Based on this chart from the U.S. Census Bureau, Evan says we don't need public transit the way the other major cities do. That Nashville isn't even in the top 25 in public transportation use. But the mayor's office says that it's dated pre-pandemic and things have changed drastically since then. And better public transportation would lead to increased usage. In the past 12 months, we go just past 9 million rides. Apple tells me, no, people won't have to pay more for their bus fare. It will be locked in at $2 for 15 years. Reporting in studio, Karen Aguilar, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.